In this video, I'll be attempting to teach you how to build characters the way you want to build them. I will try to keep the breakdown as simple as possible. So if you're here for meta builds for characters, there is a recommended option in the character artifact screen that can give you the recommendations you're looking for or actual character build guides on YouTube. The character we'll be using for this guide is the Traveler, more specifically the Animo Traveler. We will also be treating this like he has no constellation points activated at C0. I will explain more about constellations further on in the video. Let's get started. First, we break down the Traveler's kit. Animo Traveler, a 5 hit normal attack combo that deals physical damage and will also conjure a wind blade on the final hit for animo damage due to his passive ability. And a 2 hit charge attack that deals physical damage but no wind blade. Plunging attack also deals physical damage. Elemental skill deals animo damage and if it comes in contact with another element like pyro, cryo, hydro or electro will cause a swirl reaction and elemental absorption. Can be held for more damage or tapped. Alright, two things to go over. Swirl reaction. As you may or may not already know, swirl is the reaction between animo and either cryo, pyro, hydro or electro. Example would be you swirl with pyro, you see animo damage from the skill and pyro damage from the swirl. As a reaction, swirl will only do more damage depending on your elemental mastery stat, or EM for short, and your character's level. The higher your elemental mastery and level, the stronger the swirl. Remember that. Now, about elemental absorption. I'll use too close to show this because it'll be easier to see the damage numbers so I can explain it more easily. Now, some people think that elemental absorption changes the animo damage to the new element that was absorbed. It doesn't. It does not do that. It's a form of damage on its own, kind of like a second swirl. The damage it does is a percentage of the animo damage that is dealt as an element's absorbed like pyro. The higher your skill's animo damage, the higher your absorption damage will be. Onto the elemental burst. Deals animo damage, elemental absorption and swirl damage if there's another element to react with. It moves in a straight line, can carry light enemies, doesn't move through walls and thick objects, and can stay active even when the character is no longer on the field. Alright, now that we've gone over his kit, we can now go over the roles that he can take and decide how to build him based on that role. Since his kit is set around damage mostly, he can serve as a main DPS, someone who stays on the field the longest and deals the most damage, or a burst or sub DPS, someone you bring out to mostly just drop their skills and bursts and then switch them back out. This role serves both as a support and damage dealing role, though it doesn't deal as much damage as the main DPS. So you can decide on the role that you want to select. Now onto the gear. Do you want to focus on his physical damage? Prototype Rancor is a good 4 star weapon to use or try Harbinger of Dawn. Artifacts can be from Berserker, Gladiators or Braveheart sets. Use an attack percent sans, physical damage cup and any crit hat. Usually as a new player crit hats won't serve well at the start so use an attack percent hat instead for more consistency. Don't worry about substats for your 3 star and 4 star artifacts just focus on the main stat. Want to focus on his animo damage? Use the Viridescent set. Having the 4 piece set bonus improves the support capabilities for your swirls. Also just change the cup to an animo damage cup if you have one. Got no animo or physical cup? Use an attack percent cup if you do. Want to focus on his swirl damage? Iron Sting is a good craftable weapon you could get if you buy the sword billet with animo sigils from Marjorie or perhaps the Dark Iron Sword as a 3 star weapon option. You can get this sword by talking to Chen the Sharp in Liyue Harbor. As for the artifacts, the Viridescent set can still work or go with the Instructor set. The Sands, Cup and Helm should all be Elemental Mastery. After all, more Elemental Mastery and the higher your character's level, the stronger your swirl damage. Do you want to be able to use this burst more often? Switch out the weapon or an artifact, or both, for ones that give energy recharge. And lastly, Constellations. Constellations essentially improve on what is already there like a damage buff or increasing skill levels or add extra effects like the first constellation that adds a pull effect to the traveler's elemental skill or constellation 6 which adds debuffs to the traveler's elemental burst. This can improve the traveler's support capabilities. 
Constellations add another layer of customization that you can work with for even more combos or to improve the build you already have. As you play through, you will unlock more areas and artifact domains that will introduce different artifacts that you can work with to change up your playstyle. There's lots of combinations you will get to try out, so take your time and just have some fun messing around. So remember, use this list when you are building other characters. Break down the character's skills and what they can do. Determine what roles they can fill, either DPS, a sub or burst DPS, or support. Choose what to build around. Check their constellations, if you have any, to see if anything changes or how it will improve the character. And that is how you build characters in Genshin Impact. I hope this guide helped you in some way. If not, and you still have questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get to them if YouTube can send me notifications this time. Feel free to let me know if I missed anything of note that should have been mentioned, or if you would like to see more guides like this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more future content. I also stream here on YouTube on the weekends if you want to join and ask me any questions there. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.